Girard, Regis Philbin, and Kelly Ripa. Spending the holidays with old friends like our next guest, who stars in a new Hallmark movie called A Kiss at Midnight. Please welcome the lovely Faith Ford. Tiger pajamas. You look so cute Thank in those you. pajamas. Oh, is it leopard? leopard? I don't know. Leopard. And you're so silky. Yeah. <laughs> so how you doing, Faith? It's good, good to see you I'm again. I'm good. I'm good. I'm my still gosh, here. You guys spent three years together on oh that Oh my gosh. Show? I miss, I swear, I miss seeing you every day. I've deeply. Become, deeply. Yes. It's We're true. bonded very deeply. We are. Everyone. I was yeah. on the show. They never got along. But anyway. <laughs> Um, so, as I recall, you're a Louisiana girl, and mm -hmm. you learned how to cook at an early age, and mm -hmm. you're a great... She's always raving about your cooking. Yeah, yeah I like to cook. So, what did you bake for the holidays? I haven't baked anything yet. <laughs> it's, it's, it's last minute, I know, but we, we do everything last minute at home. Phew. One day, Faith and I decided to cook pancakes. <laughs> we decided to cook pancakes together for the kids. Do you remember? Yeah. And Faith wants every pancake to be... Perfect, cylindrically perfect. Yeah. It has to be at the right radius. It her. has to have, have the right fluffiness. And I'm like, I have three kids. They don't care. You re really got to get the pancakes. It's practically out. raw when you're taking it off, it's right? Really, yeah, my pancakes are kind of burnt on one side and raw on the other. <laughs> and baits are gorgeous. But the point is, by the time my kids were filled up with my disgusting pancakes, they were like, we wish we had room for those beautiful, delicious ones. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How are your dogs these days? They're good. They're yeah. holding up there. You took a Bell trip, as I understand. Yeah, back we, to Louisiana. Back to Louisiana for yeah. Thanksgiving, for the holiday, took them that along. holiday. Yes, we take them and we take these road trips. And they're such good travelers. They sleep. Look at this dog. That's by the pond in Louisiana. They, they're not just dogs. <laughs> you guys, I pose them. Yeah, I do. I pose them. They 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 know that. Oh God, mom's sitting. And we're going to take pictures again. But they know they're going to get treats in the end. But but they're not just dogs. They're like a dingo variety dingoes. of dogs. They're American dingoes. They're yeah. American Carolina dingoes. Do they dingoes. match the uh, Australian dingoes? Um, yeah, they're all related. But we have our own version here in North America. I, never I mean, I'm just fascinated with them. It's yeah, really sure. silly well, that I'm she so She takes pictures of them sitting on like monuments and sends them to me. <laughs> like, here, here are the kids in Washington. <laughs> Here are the kids at the Empire State Building. <laughs> Is it two little boys or a girl and a boy? It's a boy and a girl. Oh, Bell really? and Rounder. Bell. Rounder. Bell and, Bell. and Rounder. That's cute. Well, that's nice. Yeah, and he sings. He Rounder. sings? He likes Elvis tunes. Uh-huh. Yeah. What does he sound like? Oh, God, burn and burn and burn I think she's hearing things. Yeah. <laughs> You like you would like your uh, I should play your Christmas album for him. Yeah, I think he would like that. he would enjoy that. Mm -hmm. He would yeah, like sure. it very much. Well, let's talk fact. about a kiss at midnight. Oh, yeah, actually the whole movie is about this sort of woman. I'm a matchmaker. Mm -hmm. So I sort of set people up and I'm 40 and it's not sad. I'm 40 and alone and I make this resolution that by New Year's the next year I'm gonna be kissing the man of my dreams at midnight. Ah, so how do you meet this guy? Oh, well, is he part of your matchmaking people? Who well, come he's sort of we find out later that we're sort of affiliated with the same business and he's actually direct Oh, competition, competition yes. Mm. Well, that would be a good time for you two to join together mm -hmm. who was the, and expand the business. Who was the guy the that you have to kiss? Cameron Dabdo. Oh, was you he know, a good He's Australian. Well, we have a clip from okay. uh, your movie. Now, in this scene, your matchmaking business has been suffering businesses down, so you come up with a scheme to outsmart the competition. That's and eventually right. the guy you're going to kiss, yep. I guess, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Take a look at this. Take my picture. I don't put this in the important category. Well, it is. Because? Because it's going along with my online profile to romancepu.com. The only way to take on the competition is to show that we're better. Yeah. And the way to show that Hearts and Flowers' personal touch works is to prove that romanceforyou.com's computer touch doesn't. All right. Meet their newest client. You sneaky little devil, you. I learned it all from you. Now, come on. <laughs> Take my picture. Let's so we can upload it and get the show on the road. Big smile. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. kiss at midnight. It uh, premieres on the uh, Hallmark <laughs> Channel, which incidentally uh, has a tremendous following oh. for these movies. It's this Saturday night, December 27th at 8 o'clock, A Kiss for Midnight. <laughs> nice to see you again. Thank you. So good to see you. It's sleeping over my house oh, tonight. Oh, boy, what a night that's going to be. All right, so 
uh, coming up next, our uh, studio is going to transform itself into an ice skating rink, and we're going to have the gang from Disney on Ice right here in our studio. We'll be right back.